here's my walkthrough for my most recent patch that I made entirely in VCV Rack 2. Um, checking it out. Um, you can see I mostly use the new uh, versions of the VCV modules. I wanted to just kind of wrap my head around what changes happened and just understanding things. Um, I liked uh, a lot of the changes, especially the new uh, random module um, that's got a lot more functionality and you'll see that show up all over the place in here. So uh, let's have a listen um, to um, our first contact. <laughs> So right here is my main voice. It's uh, being sequenced by the SAC 3 here, which is being clocked by my 16th notes of my main clock. This main uh, first row is my main little melody here, um, but it's being mixed with uh, some random values from this sample and hold over here that's getting triggered by this step, but only 50% of the time. So half the time when it gets this step, this guy is going to send a new thing into here to get mixed with uh, the main thing. And then that all gets sent into the quantizer. So it just changes it up a little bit without the, without the extra notes. It's just this. But this does that. Anywho, I love this random module. That was just the first way I used it. So, um... All of that then is getting sent into the sample and hold um, of the module that's taking care of triggering everything as well. So uh, this is getting those 16th notes as well um, from the sec 3 because I was thinking about using these buttons but then I realized how this probability worked and I didn't need it. So um, getting those same 16th notes in, uh, probability set at 50%. But then I'm also controlling the probability of that step by step on this second layer here. So these guys here are controlling the probability that that step will go off. Um, so a fun little way to play with that. Um, and then again, the, the notes in going in here and then that going back to um, the main voice uh, over here. And uh, we, well, actually, this is the the FMing this guy. Um, so this guy's getting the volt the the volt per octave, which is being sent over here, which is also getting the volt per octave. And then this is my actual main sound here, this wavetable VCL, um, which is also having um, the third row here um, slewed a little bit and controlling the the shape of the wave as well. So that's the main voice uh, pitch-wise, <laughs> uh, uh, rhythm-wise. This random is the one powering that, getting a 16th notes in, and then this trigger output um, controlling the VCA here um, and controlling the filter uh, down here that everything ends up coming through. Um, as uh, the trigger is doing this other ADSR, um, and that ADSR is being mixed with an LFO to really get this cutoff moving around uh, on that. So that's what we're hearing here, uh, coming into the VCA, heading up to um, up here where it goes through actually another filter where I'm mainly using it to split it between the highs and lows um, with the, this cutoff being uh, LFO'd. <laughs> and then um, those two going to separate channels um, which are panned differently and then panned differently, uh, and then that the panning controlled by another LFO, just to get it moving back and forth uh, between the low and high pass as it kind of moves around. So that's that first voice. Um, I have a bass drum added to it that I built myself. Nothing special, um, but. Um, just based off of the first step of my SAC 3 is where I get that from. Two different uh, gates with different release lengths to one for the pitch, uh, or one for the, the VCO over here, uh, one for the pitch and the position uh, uh, of the, or the wave shape, I guess you could say. Uh, mixing in a little bit of red noise into it um, with a, an additional CV'd um, uh, 
uh, VCA there. And then uh, all of that uh, is being sent up here to a slew limiter that's working as an envelope follower. So you can see here's the envelope that's generating. I take that and I flip it around and upside down. Um, and now that is side chaining these guys. There's maybe a better way to do that, but you can see my bass drum is side chaining these three channels. So. That's what's going on there. Bass part here is um, this guy over here. Uh, two FM operators that are uh, affecting each other. Um, getting this trigger in from a divided by three clock of my main clock source. Um, triggered again using the probability of how often it's triggering I love that I'm excited about that um, and that's triggering uh, obviously the FM operators um, as well as uh, just a, an attack decay envelope from Bogue Audio um, that's controlling the VCF to give that kind of wow sound as we go so um, pretty straightforward on this step um, uh, just random pitches here. This doesn't come from the sec three at all. This is just random pitches uh, being toned down and then quantized in um, coming from this uh, random module again. So. So. That's just heading right up here. Like that. So one of the one of the FM operators down two octaves, one of them down one octave. Um, just a little bit of um, FMing on there. Yeah, and I had to use another ADSR because I wanted um, the level to fade a little slower um, than I wanted the feedback and depth to fade. So I have that on a separate ADSR. Finally, I have my hi hat noise coming in here. And that is happening down here. Um, getting 16th notes coming in here, again to another random. Um, and uh, probability set on that again. Yay, probability. Um, and the uh, triggers, the random triggers that are coming out, activating this ADSR. Um, whose release time is being controlled by the randomness of this um, that's been um, uh, slightly uh, or slightly stepped um, with this. Um, so, and that is envelope is controlling the overall um, volume of this VCA mixer um, and getting my white noise in here. Uh, the other little squeaky thing coming in here is um, coming from uh, this right here, um, which is coming every four beats, um, but only some of the time is sending out a trigger. Um, and really long release on this guy um, that is controlling both the volume of this squeaky sound as well as the pitch of this VCL. So it just gives a little interesting thing happening, um, but it's controlled the same volume as my uh, hi-hat. So if we just solo that out, this, this ADSR that's changing speed on the release is controlling the volume of everything, the white noise, and that little squeaky guy that's coming through just to add a little something something. Um, this, these random uh, voltages that are controlling the release time are also coming up here and just being attenuated a little bit uh, with this 8 vert um, to control the panning on that as well. So put it all together and here's what we got. So uh, I enjoyed uh, exploring VCB Rack too. Um, and um, yeah, especially, like I said, especially this uh, random module and the fact that it can do. I love when things have probability. Um, and I think this is a really easy, simple uh, module to, to do that with. And it's, I'm looking forward to exploring more what it can do. Cool.